Hello, children. I'm Auntie Gayatri. And we're going to look at something very interesting today. We're going to look at a passage that I hope and pray that will change the way you see yourself, the way you see others, and that will change you and your future forever. So let's look at um, Luke chapter 23, verses 33 to 43. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with two criminals, one on the right and one on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. For there was also an inscription over him that read, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he continued, asking, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Then Jesus replied, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Let me ask you all a question. How many of you all have been in a situation where someone has done something hurtful or uh, something really, really bad to you and you find it difficult or impossible to forgive them? What they have done is very, very bad in your eyes and sometimes you may feel that if you forgive them, they might do it again and you'll get hurt again. When our first parents, that is Adam and Eve, sinned by disobeying God in the Garden of Eden, mankind was eternally separated from God. And this broke God's heart. And only someone who is as holy as God could stand in the gap to reconcile for our sins so that we can be forgiven and our relationship with God can be restored. So God sent Jesus so that you and I have an opportunity to spend our eternity. That is, our, after our physical death, um, we will still continue to live with God. Now, have you all heard of a word called grace? Some of you all even may know people by the name of grace, like friends or family. Like I had a friend whose grandma, Archie, was Grace. So we used to call her Grace Archie. Now Grace is in a simple phrase, actually means God sending Jesus to pay for our sins and die in our place. This is who God is. His love we cannot understand. Because if we are told to die for someone, Right? If you and I are told to die for someone, would we do that? Would we go through the torture that Jesus went through for someone else? We love our families, we love our parents, our friends, our brothers and sisters. But think about it. Would you suffer so much and be willing to be crucified for them? But Jesus is not like that, you know. He loves us all. The good children and the ones who sometimes do naughty things also, he loves equally. Because of this amazing, unconditional love he has for us, we are forgiven and redeemed through the grace he offers. Right? Now, think about that person you find difficult to forgive. Okay. What would Jesus want you to do? 
if Jesus forgives you and me for all the horrible things we do, and you 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 know what naughty and bad things you do, then he expects us also to forgive those who hurt us and wrong us. Like in the Lord's Prayer, it says, forgive us our wrongs as we forgive those who wrong us. God expects us to forgive others so that he can forgive us and we become his eternal children. Now let's look at another video and see what happened between the two criminals that were hung on either sides of Jesus' cross and Jesus. Jesus was crucified on a cross between two bad men. They were being punished for killing people and trying to overthrow the government. A Roman soldier nailed some words on the cross above Jesus. The word said, This is the King of the Jews. People in the crowd bowed down and made fun of Jesus, saying, He saved others, so let him save himself if he is God's promised Messiah. One of the criminals said to Jesus, If you really are the promised Christ, then save yourself and save us too. But the other thief was sorry for all the bad things he had done. God knows that we deserve to pay for what we did, but Jesus has done nothing wrong. Jesus, he said, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, today you will be with me in paradise. The man was forgiven and his heart was filled with peace and joy because he believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Son of God. And like that criminal on the cross, we must always be humble, no matter what. When we do something wrong, we must admit it confess it, and ask for forgiveness. Then God looks down from heaven and is very pleased with us. His blessing and favor will always be upon you. So my darling children, I hope you will always stay humble, always be kind and forgiving to everyone, regardless of what you feel or what others say. Um, because end of the day, the only thing that should be important in your life is whether God is pleased and happy with you. So until I see you next time, take care, lots of love and God bless you all.